Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is rolling out our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10, which is going to be KB5039299 to both the beta channel and release preview channels for insiders who are on Windows 10 version 22H2. And this is the first time in quite some time that we are getting a build in the beta channel because as I posted um, a couple of days ago, um, Windows 10 um, is now available in the beta channel um, and I'll leave that video in the end screen because it will give you more information. So um, Windows 10 now finds itself in beta and release preview. And just a quick recap, Microsoft says that going forward the beta channel and release preview channel will receive the same Windows 10 builds, but the beta channel is where they will try new features out. So go check that other video out if you'd like some more information. Now, first of all, because this update, which is our next optional bug fix update, is in release preview, that means it's in its final stages of um, testing. So that rolled out on the 13th, and the optional bug fix release updates rolled out in the fourth week of the month. So I would suggest that we would get this next update for Windows 10 starting from the 25th of June, the Tuesday, in that fourth week of June 2024. So that's in a couple of days' time. Now, first of all, um, just to tell you what's happening in the beta channel. Um, this is only applicable to the beta channel. Um, Microsoft says they've made some fixes to improve the overall stability of searching for apps in the search box um, on the taskbar. And then in regards to Windows Backup, that's the backup app, um, as you may well know, um, Microsoft has said that um, you will also be able to backup and restore personalization preferences. And basically this ensures that the most used preferences of um, settings are backed up while avoiding those that are tied to specific hardware to facilitate a seamless transition to a new PC. And they're also making some important bug fixes, they say, to enhance the backup and restore functionality. So if you find yourself in the beta channel, that's more or less what's new for Windows 10 in the beta channel um, for this week. Now just focusing on the release preview and this applies to both the beta and release preview channels and this is more or less what we will see roll out in our next optional bug fix update and there's no new features that we are expecting to see roll out. Um, there's nothing listed for the release preview and beta when it comes to our next optional update and we get nine bug fixes and I'm just going to mention four that you may be interested in. The others are kind of taking place under the hood. So the first is that the update addresses an issue that affects the default Japanese input method editor. Apparently uh, it stopped responding. And it also addresses an issue that might stop your system from resuming from Hibernate. Apparently this occurs after you turn on BitLocker. BitLocker. So that's quite an important fix. And then the second last one, just to mention, uh, the update addresses an issue that affects an app's jump list on the taskbar. Completing actions from that list might fail. And in case you're unaware, um, a jump list um, is a menu that appears when you right-click an app on the taskbar or start menu, and it gives you quick access to recently or frequently used app items, as you may well know. And the last one to mention for this video, this update addresses an issue that affects a folder context menu. And apparently when you choose the command that removes items, the command adds items instead. Apparently this occurred when a third party service implements a sync feature. So those are four bug fixes I thought you may be interested in out of the nine in total which are rolling out um, with our next optional bug fix C release update which is KB5039299 and uh, when the update does make its way to the stable version Windows 10 22H2, the build will be bumped up to 19045.4593 or somewhere in that point release vicinity. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.